a lot more people. Yes. They're coming back to work. Yes, they are. They sure are, right? Yeah. And and that is the state of affairs as folks start to come back to the office. It, it, it's been a real push-pull, right? Because yeah. a lot of companies have resisted making this sort of the mandate, and now they're saying, okay, it's time to come back. And so you have some workers who prefer it, some workers who don't. And it's really creating this kind of, you know, but we've got some new numbers out. Yeah, no matter who you talk to, somebody's in this conversation, you know someone in your neighborhood or you know someone at home either that has been out of the office. Nearly 60% of Manhattan office workers are now uh, at their workplace on average on any given weekday. Now, one year ago, we were still under 50%. The trend is supported in another part of the survey, which also says New Yorkers who reported as working fully remote dropped from 10% at the beginning of this year to 6% now. But get this, get this. Before the pandemic, Manhattan offices weren't actually at 100%. They mm. were at 80% occupancy. That. I didn't know. Yeah. That. I didn't either. So, but the gap is getting closed. <laughs> it's closing much quicker than a lot of us assumed it would. So, and when I read about that 80% number, that's because it's people who are traveling for work, traveling, on business trips, on people on vacation. So, there was not ever this vacation. 100% uh, yeah, occupancy thing. I uh, probably won't surprise you that subway ridership is also rising in certain areas of the city as well. But what are New Yorkers saying about the whole thing? Mm. You know, whether it's getting in the subway with other people, safety on the subways. Yeah, getting Derek, in their car, getting into the, this mess. Yep. Derek Waller's out there. He's been <laughs> polling New Yorkers, which I would imagine you got a lot of colorful responses <laughs> from people who will tell you what they Especially. think. I wouldn't expect anything less, Derek. <laughs> By the way, Derek's been in the office, sort of his office on the streets of New York here, dealing with the elements, so we appreciate it as always, buddy. Thank you, Derek. So what are people <laughs> saying as we now know, because the proof is in the numbers, more people are going back into the office? Yeah, as you mentioned, no shortage of opinions when you talk to New Yorkers on the street in Lower Manhattan, and, and that is what we found this morning. And I actually was a little bit surprised. You'd think that everyone wants to be at home in their pajamas, but you know, they've been doing that for years. And so uh, some people are really excited to actually interact with their coworkers again. Listen to a little bit of what people told me this morning. We saw a study today that said that uh, most people are returning to the office. And so have you noticed that your drive to work has been busier? It has been, you know, it's certain days. I think Mondays a lot of folks stay home. If you have to spend two hours every day coming to work and two hours going home, I mean, that's four extra hours that is being wasted. It's just congested. I'm doing this every day and I'm frustrated, honestly, but we get through the day. My commute is great because I take the express bus, which is literally a block away from my house and a block away from my office. So great commute. Um, I've seen it where it was no one on the roads, and I'm seeing more and more people return on the roads. So mm -hmm. I'm enjoying seeing the people. I love the energy. That's what New York is about. And one trend that we've also seen is that Mondays and Fridays, you notice the roads and the subways, it's a little lighter because people are using those as their hybrid, you know, work from home days. But subway systems, uh, the subway system here in Lower Manhattan is a lot busier because the Cortland Street Station, right where we're standing, 24% uh, busier now than this time last year. And again, that's because of this uh, uh, return to work mandate that we're seeing. But of course, uh, here in the news, uh, we've never actually had that. <laughs> Can't really do the news from home. Nope. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, we've all been in the office uh, this entire time. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. learned that we were essential workers yeah. and it was essential that we brought ourselves. Mm -hmm. in I got to say it was yeah, weird during the height of the pandemic. When we were out on the street <laughs> report. Thank you, Derek. When we were reporting on everything that was happening, it was so bizarre. It still is surreal to think yeah. about the streets of New York City yeah. so empty. And it was, so to see even with the congestion and everything else, at least that is a sign that we can get back to being frustrated with the traffic, which is a good sign. Normal frustration. But, but shout out really quick. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're going to get to weather, but shout out to the gentleman in the bow tie. In the yellow bow tie <laughs> for everything. He for was the fashion, everything. For the fact that he planned and structured his commute. Is that he what you're going to say? And he's yeah. on a bus. He's yeah. taking a bus, but yet he's still positive, and he really truly shows just how New Yorkers are so resilient. They will deal with just about anything, yeah. right? No, it's, and, it, and it is one of those things where as you do see more people come into the office, it's fun to interact yeah. and connect, but it doesn't work when for everybody. You, when, so. you, when you see the interviews, we're, we're kind of talking about the interviews at the same time, and that guy just lit me up. I mean, <laughs> the fact that he structured his commute, he knew the express bus yes. from his house yep. to the office, just a short walk in between.